What's happening now, NASA's preparing to launch a rocket into space in a matter of hours now, which shouldn't be that surprising. That's what NASA does, but this one won't be coming back to Earth, this rocket. It's going straight into an asteroid. And it's all in the name of planetary defense. So let's bring in Dr. Derek Pitts, chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute here in Philadelphia. Good evening, Dr. Pitts. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So this is so exciting. I know when we first heard about this, mm -hmm. we were all talking about it in the studio here. It sounds like something straight out of Armageddon or Deep Impact, as yep. Jason points out. Uh, in those movies, though, Earth is, is vulnerable to basic destruction. Are there any threats looming? Well, first of all, I promise that Bruce Willis is not involved in this mission. <laughs> That's number one. And uh, number two, you know, what NASA and other agencies around the world have been doing is trying to assess uh, how much risk there is for us from being hit by an asteroid. And uh, the good news is that there is nothing on the horizon within 100 years that we can consider a planet killer. There are smaller asteroids, but none of them are headed toward Earth. Even smaller ones than that, that could cause some damage. There could be a few of those around, but again, there doesn't seem to be anything that's imminently threatening us. Uh, we're showing like an animation of what's expected to happen later tonight. This rocket's called DART. They say it's the size of a refrigerator and it'll be traveling about 14,000 miles per hour on this collision course with an asteroid, which is about eight times bigger than DART. So how, how does this all work? How, you know, take us behind the scenes here on the inner workings of this. Well, it's really straightforward. What's going to happen is there's a little tiny moonlet of the main asteroid. And this little tiny moonlet that the spacecraft is going to strike, the spacecraft is going to strike it head on. And with that 14,000 miles an hour, but only 1,200 pounds of mass, what it's going to do is it's going to slightly, slightly slow down that moonlet of the asteroid and it will cause the orbit to drift in closer to the planet. It will orbit, I'm sorry, or it'll orbit the asteroid a little faster. Now, what NASA's after is determining whether or not the impact will actually have an effect on the moonlet of slowing it down. And that's what they're gonna be able to measure. That will be the test that will tell them that they could use this process to effectively redirect an asteroid that was headed toward Earth if that was needed to be done. Now, Dr. Pitts, what happens if it misses the asteroid and just continues into the abyss? Well, off it goes. Strike we'll one. see it somewhere on the other side of the solar <laughs> system at some point in the future. Uh, there's no real danger to either the spacecraft or anything else. After all, it is really small. It's only four feet by four feet by three feet, so it's not very big. It doesn't weigh very much, and there's a lot of room out there, which is, of course, why we call it space. And tonight, <laughs> will we be able to see it? What are we looking for uh, when, when this happens? Can we see the collision with a high-powered telescope of some kind? What's going to happen is that researchers will be able to follow the impact using very, very specialized, very large instruments. But the other part about it is that there are new technologies embedded within the spacecraft itself that will be sending images back to Earth as the spacecraft is approaching the moonlet all the way up to the point of impact. <laughs> so we'll be able to get those images and see how this is going as it's happening. So that's a very cool aspect of this. Gotta love technology and science. Astronomy. Love it. <laughs> we could talk to you all day, Dr. Pitts. Thank you so much for joining us.